Hey friends, Isaac here. It's Tuesday, November 2nd. Welcome to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. This is the podcast where we live the dream of people of every nation, tribe and tongue worship Jesus together on earth today as it already is in heaven. Thank you for subscribing, reviewing and sharing the show. On Tuesday, November 9th, Kevin's newest book, Get to the Point, releases worldwide in paperback, hardback, ebook, and audiobook. To celebrate, we're inviting you and everyone to join the launch team by offering a free copy of the ebook or audiobook. Simply go to kevinwhite.us and request your free copy today. Get to the Point is a practical guide for passionately pursuing God's presence. Every guidance and provision you will ever need can be found today in the presence of God. On November 9th, the ebook will be only 99 cents on Amazon. The launch team will encourage everyone to share, review, and gift Get to the Point. Request your free copy and join the launch team today at kevinwhite.us. Kevinwhite.us. Today, Kevin is joined by Temsa Labas of Nashville, North Carolina. Temsala is a sister in Christ, friend and board member for Global Hope India. Put your hands together and let's welcome Kevin and Temsala to today's show. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Living the Dream. I'm Kevin. This is Temsala. How are Hello. you, sister? Good. How are you? Doing well. I am so grateful for you as a co-host uh, Themsala is a sister in the Lord. She's a recent board member of Global Hope India. Uh, she is from India. I am from the USA. We're both in the USA right now, but as she has well said, our citizenship is in heaven. And heaven. so is yours. We welcome you. If you're watching on YouTube, we're actually waving at you. If you're listening wherever podcasts can be heard, we welcome you to the audience. And we want you to know that as living the dream, your citizenship is in heaven as well. If you are alive in Christ Jesus, you don't belong here anymore. You have been trans transferred your identity and your citizenship to heaven. We welcome you if you're listening in Germany, Mexico, Canada, Uganda, India, Philippines, Thailand, Afghanistan, and everywhere in between. We are glad to champion the vision out of Revelation 7, 9 through 12, where every nation that's India, USA, Philippines, Afghanistan, on and on and on, every nation tribe and tongue are worshiping Jesus in heaven for all eternity. And we are in a series of biblical love. And Thimsala, introduce today's episode. Well, like we have been discussing the past couple of weeks, we are discussing about love and we have taken it apart into small bite size based on First Corinthians chapter 13, yeah. verses 4 and 5. And today's episode will be on thoughtfulness. And mm. sometimes, you know, love is so much needed in this world because people are going through a lot. Mm -hmm. And all of us, in a lot of ways, we are struggling. We are uh, really confused. And the world has confused our mind about love. And it's like the word love that God has in his word has been stolen and misused in so many ways. And so we need to get it right. We need mm -hmm. to put this biblical perspective of love in the right perspective. And as God's children and as his followers, as his disciples, we need to be people who are not just talking about it, but putting it into action in our day-to-day -day living. It's not something that we are announcing it to the world, writing it down, but then how do we practice it in our daily living? Whether it's with our children, our family, our spouse, with our neighbors, people in the grocery stores, people in the bus station, or people at the airport, or people that we are meeting at the mall, it doesn't matter, any gathering. Mm -hmm. So. It's something that we have to be. It's not only to people that looks like us or it's not only to people that um, we are familiar with, people who are nice to us, but it doesn't matter. It just it just transcends all that. It, 
we are, as God's children, we are called to be practicing putting this into practice. It's not just a concept, an idea that's floating around in the air, but it's a thought, it's a principle that God wants us to practice. It's like, you know, in order to keep off germs from your hand, you wash your hands. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> practical principle. Mm -hmm. And so it's a principle Thoughtful. that you have to practice it. Mm -hmm. Yes, every day. And so from that love concept, we have one bite size for today, and that is thoughtfulness. Mm. And that's from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 5. And let me read the verse. My uh, Bible verse is very small, and so sometimes my eyesight doesn't do very well with that. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> it's the sign of getting younger. Yes. Uh, it says, love does not behave rudely. Do not seek its own, is not provoke, thinks no evil. In other words, love means being thoughtful. Mm -hmm. And the love that we see in the word of God, mm. Christ was very, very thoughtful mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. each one of us. Mm -hmm. And when he was at that cross for each one of us, he was not thinking about himself. He was thinking about each one of us. Mm -hmm. And so when we do that as Christ followers, all this, what Christ has done, his love for us should motivate us to think. Mm -hmm. And not just to be thinking, but also to be busy in our thoughts of doing loving actions. You know, if we are to, I was talking about this to my husband today. If we are thinking about certain things how can i be how can i be if we are constantly thinking about this loving actions towards others we will condition ourselves to start doing loving things mm -hmm. we will condition ourselves to saying loving and thoughtful things thoughtful actions it will produce if we are not constantly thinking about it it will not many times we become topless today's culture selfishness senselessness thoughtlessness mm -hmm. it's promoted in a wider way and it's accepted in many people's life homes mm -hmm. because that's what the world teaches us it's okay to be topless mm -hmm. but that's not what the word of god says word right. of god has raised that bar mm -hmm. like with all the others it has really raised the bar where we are called to be thoughtful. Yes. Thoughtlessness, it's not God, God's word doesn't say be thoughtless. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to accept thoughtlessness. Mm -hmm. No, it cannot be. Right. And so, Kevin, mm. what do you think about being mm. thoughtful? Yeah, I like this episode. Maybe it's going to be one of my favorite uh, in this series of love. Um, because Jesus makes it so simple to us when you think about it. He says, do to others as you would have done to you. Yeah. And that needs to become a guiding principle in our lives. Sometimes we don't know if it would be appropriate to take someone's mail that has blown out of the mailbox and is scattering on the road and to put it at their door. What if they think that we're trying to steal something or anything? Well, would we want someone to do that for us? My answer would be yes. So go take and help your neighbor get their mail up yes. and take it to their door and open up their door and tap on the door and, ha and tell them that their mail was blowing around. You just wanted to make sure that they received their mail. Mm -hmm. Let's yes. say that they respond with spitting in your face and they do accuse you of trying to steal their mail or something like that. You go back to the guiding principle would you want someone to do that for you? And if the answer is yes, then you you do it and you do it unapologetically and you do it without fear and you do it without worry because you do it because it's right. And that's what, that's what God has given us. Do the right thing. Do you like people to use your name in conversations? Yes. Science has actually proven that 
to each person, one of the most favorite words is the sound of their own name. And so that is an act of being thoughtful. So if you see someone in a restaurant or uh, a gas station, a market with a name tag on, and you say, Suresh, so Suresh, uh, thank you for serving our table today. You have just elevated them from stranger danger in your life to the potential of a friendship because you're using their name. And now we could think of some opposite things. I don't like for someone to ring my doorbell and then hold me captive for 30 minutes while they're trying to talk to me about something if I did not know that they were coming over or something like that. And so Mm -hmm. don't go do that to your neighbor. Um, I don't like for someone to use my name in a manipulative way and they start saying, um, hey, Kevin, I'm glad to meet you, Kevin. And I, I want to invite you to, to, to join my company. And, and if you will help me sell some of these products, then it will help me get uh, more money into my bank account or, you know, where I might be going with, with that. Um, I don't like that. Why would someone else like that? And so mm-hmm. let the golden rule guide you. Jesus said, do to others as you would have them do to you. Be thoughtful about life. There, there's no limit then to, to ways yeah. in which we can be thoughtful to people around us for the sake of the gospel. Yes, and being thoughtful, like in uh, not just with other culture, but even within our family members, and sometimes we think that, okay, I can start being thoughtful only when I get there. Mm. But it's an everyday thing. It starts at your home. Mm-hmm. We can be thoughtful with our kids, our spouse, our friends, people around us, and, you know, keep cultivating, growing bigger and bigger in our thoughtfulness. You know, we cannot say that uh, enough of the thoughtfulness thing in our life. There should not be that enough of it. Mm-hmm. It should be like, it should be an endless act of thoughtfulness. And so if we really think about the opposite of thoughtfulness is the thoughtlessness. So thoughtlessness is a silent enemy mm. to any human relationship. Mm. Any kind of relationship mm-hmm. you think about it, if you are thoughtless, mm-hmm. it's a killer. Mm-hmm. You know, it just, it just wipes out any kind of uh, relationship and so we, for us, our standard has been set so much higher by Christ because we cannot say that we love Christ and make choices that are topless. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes we say it's okay to be, it's okay to do this. It's fine. And like you are talking about how, you know, you want others to do unto you what you want others to do to you. Mm-hmm. And so... Uh, do unto others what you will want them to do unto you. Mm-hmm. Just last week, this I think it was this week that we were discussing about this with our kids because, you know, sometimes they act very thoughtlessly, mm-hmm. <laughs> just like us as adults mm-hmm. in a small, small way. And so I was in the conversation of this thoughtfulness and, you know, how... Do you want, I started asking, do you want um, your sister or your friend to do to you what you have done to them? And they said, no. Then the question is, why do you do them? Mm -hmm. And so it's the same way with us when we are strangers in another place. Mm -hmm. You want other people to be kind to you, Mm -hmm. to be thoughtful to you Mm -hmm. in the same way when other people come to your doorstep. Mm-hmm. Be show kindness, mm-hmm. show thoughtfulness, yeah. and so it's an action that it's both the receiver as well as the giver. Mm-hmm. There's so much of blessings to receive, mm-hmm. and so when we are thoughtful, both is a win-win. Mm-hmm. I'm a winner, you are a winner. Mm-hmm. So everybody is a winner here, yeah. and everybody is blessed. And so let us, you know, promote act of thoughtfulness. Mm-hmm. Let us be thinking about how you and I can be thoughtful to others around us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, Uh, there's a lot of practical examples that we can give before we close out the episode. 
um, not waiting for the phone to ring, but to reach out to others is an act of thoughtfulness. Um, sometimes we might meet a stranger and, be, and seek to become a friend to them. And if we wait for them to reciprocate, we may never build a relationship with them. So we've mm -hmm. got to keep investing. We've got to send a text. Hey, how are you? How's your week going? That's thoughtful. People will appreciate that. Maybe we have to send three texts before they respond with one text or an email or a phone call. Um, let the Holy Spirit guide here. Um, God will never assign us to anything that, that allows us to step out from up under the dependency of the presence of God moment by moment. The reason he says love is thoughtful and therefore you be thoughtful is because he knows the wisest person of all is inside of us. And if we will give our attention over to the Holy Spirit, he will say, hey, you remember Bob? You need to reach out to him. You remember Mary? You need to say something. Remember Jennifer? She's, she's needing a prayer right now. Remember Suresh? You met him at the market last week? Um, he's very lonely right now. He'll never tell you that, but the Holy Spirit can tell you these things. And then you follow the Holy Spirit's prompting. And that's when you and I really become thoughtful to the people around us. We're no longer waking up saying, who's going to make me feel like a king today? Who's going to make me feel loved? Who's going to make... But we go and make others feel like kings and queens and loved and chosen and royalty. And what ends up happening is God affirms that in our lives as well. You cannot go and give and become in debt to God. He will re re repay. He will absolutely um, honor His Word in your life. You're not going to come up um, with, with this lack of debt toward God in your life. Um, it's not possible. It, you can't outgive God. And He has promised that it is more blessed to give than to receive. And if you want to see a person that is truly fulfilled and satisfied in life, you're going to be finding a giver because what will happen is the more they give, the more they receive. It's, it's yes. a biblical promise from God. And thoughtfulness, if you feel like no one's, no one's thinking of you today, no one's really being thoughtful to you right now. If you'll start being thoughtful to others, it will come back to you. It is a biblical yes. promise. God will remind you, restore to you. And I, now, I'm not talking about material possessions here. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe you have an extra phone and you can help somebody with a phone. Maybe you have two coats and you can give someone that's cold a coat. And maybe you don't need material possessions but what you'll have is the gifts money can't buy. You'll have satisfaction. Mm -hmm. You'll have peace. You'll have fulfillment. You'll have purpose. You'll have mission. Things that money, you can't go to Amazon and order mission for life. You can't go to yeah. Walgreens and buy purpose for life. And, and these are the gifts that truly matter to us. Mm -hmm. And often they come as a result of us agreeing with God that he has called us yeah. to be thoughtful. And, yeah. and we, we wake up in the morning asking the Holy Spirit to show us how to be thoughtful of others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, this week I got to hear a story from an um, immigrant about one of our sister in the Lord who, you know, the immigrant was moving to another town, but she was saying that, you know, of all the friends that she has met over the years, um, this particular sister in the Lord was stood out because she was there. Mm -hmm. She was very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. And she, and that's why, you know, when that immigrant was leaving town, she was able to give that testimony of saying that you were like that light in the midst of the darkness. You were there for me and with your thoughtfulness. And that made a lot of difference. You stood out from all the people around and that's what we all are called to be mm -hmm. wherever we are we are called to be to stand out 
you know, Amen. to be like a light in the midst of darkness with our thoughtful action, with our love, with our kindness. So in every way that we practice, you know, we should keep that in mind that whose image that we portray in our day to day living. And just to end with uh, today's episodes, I just want to read from the Bible. Um the Philippians chapter two, verse four and Philippians chapter four, verse eight. And let it be a prayer for each one of us throughout the week. And let the word of God uh, just help you to get your eyes fixed on the Lord and to meditate on him and to grow in him. Let each one of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of other. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, Whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report. If there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Mm. Amen. 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 Yeah. So go yeah. and meditate on that. We'll see you back yeah. next week on Living the Dream. God bless you all. God bless you all. Thank you for listening to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us or subscribe for free through your favorite podcast player and never miss an episode. This program is copyright Kevin White International, all rights reserved. Each week we bring you a message of living the dream as people of every nation, tribe and tongue worship Jesus together on earth today as it already is in heaven. Remembering the gift of God's presence through Jesus Christ is accessible to everyone. Join us again next week for Living the Dream with Kevin White. Living the Dream with Kevin White.